Hello everyone, my name is Neeraj and today we are going to see how RL works. RL is not an ORM. So what's an ORM? An ORM is something whose job is to convert a record which is in the database into an object representation so that in the object oriented world we can play with that object. And since ARL RL is not an ORM, it is not a substitute for active record. In fact, uh, active record plays very nicely with RL. RL is a relational algebra, and the main task of RL is to store the query information in an AST so that it's easy to generate the SQL. So let's look at RL internals. So RL has three components. The first and the main one is the AST itself. And the AST is nothing else but the, the tree formation in which the query information is stored. And then we have visitor. The job of a visitor is to produce the SQL statement by traversing the tree. In ARL, you will find that there is a very clear separation of duties. The tree does not know anything about how to produce the SQL. In fact, tree does not even know how to manipulate itself. It's the job of a manager to manipulate the AST. So once again, we have AST, which is a tree that stores the query information. It's the job of a visitor to produce the SQL statement by traversing the, the tree. And we have managers and the, and the job of manager is to manipulate the AST. Before I proceed, I uh, should mention that Aaron Patterson sometime ago wrote a blog about RL internals. I could not find that blog because the AT&T blog site where he wrote, that site has been down for more than a couple of weeks. So if, if anyone knows, a good link which is a working link then uh, shoot me an email okay so let's look at how all these things work together here in the script console I have users equal to RL table dot new and then what I'm doing is that I'm saying query equal to users dot project star so what is project well RL is a relational algebra and the relational algebra world, when you want to select certain things, those selection is called projection. And uh, from that projections, we are getting this user start project. So basically it means that select the star. And if we do query dot two SQL, we get select a star from users. I want to draw your attention to the fact that if you look at query.class, it is a select manager and query holds an AST and the class of the AST is a select statement. So once again, I mentioned previously that the job of a manager is to manipulate the AST. So let's look at AST. So AST uh, class was select a statement and select a statement is nothing else but a subclass of node. A select a statement also holds on to a number of select cores. And a select core has projections, which is an array. And in this case, the only element in the array is array is RL nodes SQL literal and the value for SQL literal is star. So once again, we got our users and then users dot project star and then query dot class is select manager. We are not seeing select manager in this picture because the job of a manager is to manipulate the AST. This is a picture of the AST itself. And if you look at the AST class, then it's a selector statement. And in order to produce the SQL, we need to do query dot to SQL. So now let's look at two SQL method. Two SQL method is a very simple one. 
it's asking the visitor to accept an AST. So once again, previously we discussed that it is the job of a visitor to produce the SQL statement. So visitor is accepting the AST and then the visitor will start traversing the tree. If you look at the accept method, it has single line method, which is visit. So basically the visitor is saying that, okay, start visiting this object. So now the question is, how do visitors go about visiting? Before we go there, let's look at the visitors that are shipped with Arial. These are the visitors, Postgres, MySQL, MySQL 2, SQL Server, Oracle, etc. So visitor gets hold of an AST and it does AST.className, which is Arial Notes select statement and then Arial converts that constant into this string basically by replacing all the double colon with underscore and it gets this string and then visitor invokes that method so in this method we can see that it has visit then it has order by and it also takes care of limit offset lock etc the line that is of our interest in this case is o.course.map because in while looking at the AST, I showed that a select statement holds on to a number of cores. And here we are iterating through all the cores. But if we are walking through the core, then we can see that the method that is getting invoked is visit Arial nodes select core. So let's look at that method. So if you look at select core, then select core has select, it has where, group by, and all those things. However, the thing of our interest at this point of time is that core holds projections. So what we are doing here is that o.projections.map visit x. So we are visiting each of the entities which are stored in the projection. Once again, let's look at the AST just to comprehend what we did just now. So what we did just now was to walk the selector statement. Then from there, we did, we did o.cores, which got us to the next uh, element. And then the core has a number of projections. And projection is an array which has SQL literal and value star. So now the last thing that we need to visit is that visit Arial node SQL literal. And if you look at the implementation for that method, it does nothing else but returns itself. So once again, we started with select a statement. Select a statement has o.course.map, which has visit Arial nodes select core. From the select core, we got to the o.projections and from the projections we got to the RL node SQL literal. So basically the case that I showed to you, the walking the AST for that case involved these three methods. I mean there is a few there are a few minor uh, walking here and there too, but but these are the three main methods which are which the visitor had to traverse to produce the SQL statement. To make it uh, concrete how the whole traversal works, let's look at one more example. So once again, we have our users here, but instead of doing projection, here we have users.where users name matches John. So in return, we get a query. The query is once again of class select manager. And if you do query.toSQL, we get select from users where users name like John. So let's look at the AST for this uh, scenario. So in this case also we have a selector statement which is a subclass of node. Selector statement has a number of cores. But unlike the last case, select core does not have any projections. I mean it has a projection which is an array but it's an empty array. In this case, the core has where's. Where's, just like projections, is an array. 
and the first element of the array in this case is array nodes matches and this class has two attributes left and right and it has value name and john so now if the visitor is asked to traverse this tree we know what the route will look like it will start with select a statement then it will go to select core then it will go to visit rl nodes matches and then it will go to visit rl attributes attribute these are the two attributes and the name and the john they are a string so then it will visit string so if we do query dot two sql in sqlite 3 we will get this sql statement which is good however if you execute the same command in postgresql we will get i like and the reason why we get i like is because if you look at the visitor postgresql visitor it overrides the method visit rl nodes matches with i like so all the visitors subclass two sql visitor and two sql visitor is the base class and if a visitor wants to override a particular method then they can easily do so by overriding that method in in their own class in both the examples the query was of class select manager but besides select manager we also have delete manager insert manager and update manager all the code that I showed to you was tested with Rails 3.1 beta and RE. If you have any feedback, send it to me. Thank you very much.